Community and traditional leaders must rise to the obligations as community builders and peacemakers in their domains. This was a key message to stakeholders at a workshop organized by Smiling Hearts Initiative International in Meduguri, the Borono State Capital. The workshop is geared towards equipping traditional and community rulers on peace building. Jesse Tafida reports. An estimated 2.3 million people have been displaced across the northeastern states of Borno, Yobe and Adamawa as a result of an emergency that has raged for over a decade. It has brought a lot of destruction in its wake and Borno residents have lived in unease, unsure of where the next attack will come from or take place. Now, it is time to bring harmony among the people. Traditional leaders and representatives of various Borno ethnic groups are part of the sensitization workshop. Culture is what brings people together, it what makes people uh, stick to each other. It was build the root of life, as you can say. Then if this particular uh, insurgency keep on going without us recuperating those things, people not being revived to what they are known of, Definitely we will not have peace as we want it to be. Because without culture, there is no way that, because we believe that culture is the way as in the people live. So we are using that so that we can promote peace. I expect them that wherever they find themselves, they should talk about peace. They should always encourage peace and they should not allow dispute or conflict to come between them. Traditional and community leaders have been urged to create harmony between members of the society. Peacekeeping is our responsibility and is our primary assignment. There is peace cannot reign without involving traditional rulers because it's part of our responsibility. We have different tribes in our community, so most of the time, if we had such problem, they used to come to us and reconcile among themselves. We want to pass this message that everybody is one. Even the title of the drama is Gidanghaya. When we mean Gidanghaya, we are referring it to maybe it can be a state, a nation, or the world itself, because we see it as a temporary world. No matter who you are, where you come from, no matter how long you stay, after a time being, you'll be no more. We really need peace. We have suffered a lot. Fighting and all these things will never solve the problem. We need to unite ourselves. We need, we need to just keep out this cultural and ethnic so that we can come together and unite and brought that peace. With this capacity building workshop, participants are expected to assist in his intentions by spreading messages of peace and tolerance in their communities. Jesse Tafida, TVC News.